I'm making a short video today in an effort to clear up some things. And there's a lot of confusion on which meter is which. Uh, and of course they didn't bother to put uh, the model number on most of them. This meter is a Duncan Model 60 third generation. You can tell that it's a third generation in a couple of ways, but the most obvious is the door. The door will have a raised bung around the lock, which shows that there's, or you can see that there's a flip up type catch. And what happens is when you turn the key, it draws this catch up into these hooks, locking it in place. That's, a, that's also done on the Model 76. On the back, this is called a service lock. Uh, around the service lock, you will have a pl plate that says drive carefully, save a life, or it may have the number of hours, the meter. That, that was a slogan plate. It could be it could have different information, but the Model 60 third generation will have the slogan plate or a place for it if it happens to be missing. On the 76, they did away with the slogan plate. It's no longer there. And uh, on some of the 76s, you'll notice a seam across here, and, and that's another indicator for a 76. Again, this is a third generation. Your first and second generation, and it may had a may have had a window for information, hours of operation, but and it may have been blocked in with Duncan meter also. It was available both ways, but it, but they will both have or lack the bung. It will be a smooth surface across there. I showed you what the third generation catch looks like. This is a second generation catch. And it would have, again with the smooth door, it it's going to have a barrel, and a, I guess another technical term, this is a barrel, this is a lock cylinder. The lock cylinder would go in the barrel, and this one happens to be a first generation, so let's start with that. The first generation had a catch that was like this, dropped in, had a tab that held it in place through the bolt hole. Your bolt went down through and held it in place. And your lock would have had a cam very similar to this that would, of course, as you turned the key, would catch on the lip. The second generation is going to have the catch on both sides and used a diamond shaped, for lack of a better description, cam that would catch on both sides. This would be the second generation. The first and second generation would have used, uh, it could have been a lock that ha did not have any nut, the, the cam was actually fastened to the lock, or it may have been held on with a nut like this. The lock on the third generation would have had a cam shaped like this and the cam would have been held on the back of the lock with a screw. The uh, something that uh, comes up also is I will have people that will take a punch and try to drive the pin. In this case it's actually two pins out of the door. Well, don't do that until you have removed the Allen set screw here, allowing you to push those pins out, and it needs to be completely removed. Uh, that's an issue that comes up, sorry to say, entirely too frequently. The uh, service area, again, you turn your lock open. Your mechanism is completely self-contained, removable, interchangeable. Uh, take it out of this one, put it in that one. 
Uh, but uh, that made it simple for them to, if they had a, a defective mechanism or a mechanism that needed service, they could just exchange it with very, with very little effort. These are the basic differences. I uh, hope this short video will help you in determining what meter you have and possibly prevent you from making a mistake that will uh, cost you a lot, of, a lot of grief later on. Thank you for watching my video. I appreciate it.